Xpeng have just revealed their new electric van. It's very impressive. Its range is impressive. The style is fantastic. And I think they've really developed a winning car here that I hope they sell in global markets. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. And I want to say a big thank you. Um, there's been a few people recently that have donated to the um, the cancer uh, GoFundMe, and I really appreciate what you're doing. I haven't uh, asked for this, but um, I'm very, very thankful for your assistance with everything that's been happening at the moment. Xpeng have officially unveiled the X9 MPV, and it's priced really, really well, less than some of its direct competitors. I think it looks better than competition. It looks less like a van, more like a crossover between a van and an SUV. And I think that's what a lot of people like. The Kia Carnival has sold really well. I think that's one of the key reasons. It doesn't look like a van. People don't want to rock up in a van. Oh, you've got a van. Yeah, you must have heaps of kids. You must have, you know, that's really daggy looking. I think one of the reasons that this style will appeal to a lot of people is not only is it a fully electric car, which is made from the ground up on Xpeng's really impressive new EV platform, but it also looks not very MPV-ish. The X9 starts at a price of 53,000 US dollars, which sounds relatively expensive, but that's actually not that bad. Some of its rivals are around about the $70,000 mark, even up to 80,000 US dollars. And when you consider the technology you're getting in this vehicle, it's actually really a good price. Now, it was unveiled pretty much on the same day as Lee Auto revealed the Lee Mega. I think this looks better than the Lee Mega, but the Lee Mega is a little bit bigger. It's a similar electric MPV from Lee Auto, fully electric, by the way, not a plug-in hybrid, but it's much more expensive than this. How big is this? It's bigger than it looks, surprisingly bigger than it looks. It's 5.3 meters long, far bigger than say something like a Toyota Land Cruiser, 5,293 millimeters long. It's two meters wide or 1,988 millimeters and it's 1,785 millimeters high. Wheelbase is nearly 3.2 meters. So it's a fair bit bigger than say a Tesla Model X or a Kia EV9. So that gives you an idea of just how big this vehicle truly is. In terms of the interior space, really one of the biggest EVs you can get. And if you've got seven kids, or if even if you have three kids and you know you're going to need more to carry extra kids, their friends, their stuff in the back on holidays, this would really be the ideal car for you. The Xpeng X9 comes with both a single motor and a dual motor version. The single motor version has a I think very adequate amount of power, 235 kilowatt, around about just over 300 horsepower. The dual motor version has an additional motor with 135 kilowatts. So in total power peak, you're gonna get around you know, 350 kilowatt here from this vehicle. That's about 500 horsepower, plenty of power. The entry level version of the Xpeng X9 will have a lithium iron phosphate battery pack from CATL. That battery pack is surprisingly small, 84.5 kilowatt hour pack, but it gives it a CLTC range of 610 kilometers. If you extrapolate that to a WLTP range, that's a range of around 550 kilometers using an 84.5 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack. That's amazing. This could be the most efficient vehicle in the world based on its size. I don't think there's another car running a lithium ion phosphate battery pack of that small in a car this big getting that much range. I'm actually blown away. I'm sitting here thinking, are these numbers even correct? I mean, lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL have clearly, this must be the new battery packs from CATL, must be lithium ion phosphate battery packs 2.0, better faster charging, higher energy density, much better operation in cold weather, in cold temperatures. This could be a really good car at that price. Longer range versions come with a lithium ion ternary battery pack. I believe it's from CATL as well, with a capacity of 101.5 kilowatt hours, giving the vehicle a 700 kilometer CLTC range. So probably a 650 kilometer WLTP range. That's, you could not possibly need more range than that with a battery pack that's gonna charge as fast as what this will, apparently 350 kilowatt charging speeds as well. 
Wow, this is really a very impressive vehicle. Another really cool thing it has, incredibly good steer and dynamo. It's only 10.8 meters, the smallest in its class. So that will mean it will feel like you're driving a much, much smaller vehicle. The X9's turning radius is even smaller than that of the P7 sedan, which is a much smaller car. It also has HD map independent XNGP assisting driving capability, which is basically Xpeng is the only company in the world that uses similar technology to Tesla. We've, you've probably seen the court case where a Tesla employee took all Tesla's full self-driving data and he downloaded it and gave it to Xpeng. I don't know if Xpeng used it or not, but there was court cases that went on for years. Anyway, that's not really beside, that's not really the key point here. The point is here, Xpeng have some really impressive automated driving systems using a similar tech. It's basically a neural network training that Xpeng does. So when is this vehicle actually coming to market? Well, Xpeng CEO said it's coming out in January next year. And this comes at a time when Volkswagen Group have invested into the company. They spent a lot of money buying 5% of the company. They're now using Xpeng's old platform to make EVs as well. So Xpeng are starting to have a, a, a real serious revival here. I'm impressed by this. I think that there could, it could be a really good year for the company. Do you think this vehicle is actually as impressive as I'm saying? Or am I just getting a bit excited? Guys, the price here for me, in my opinion, puts this on parity with internal combustion engine MPVs. This is really a luxury MPV and it has really impressive range. I've been saying now for a long time, guys, don't worry, it won't be long before EVs have the range that people are after. The skeptics say are a problem. And it's really here now, 650 kilometers of range in a vehicle this size proves that we now do have the battery technology that we need to have these amazing vehicles with all the range you really need. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on this one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.